Hello and welcome to the Adventure Time Text Adventure. Yeah, because everyone likes text adventures and Adventure Time. So, I haven't been able to get a Minecraft video out, and it's because they kind of take a long while for me to make. I play for a while and then do stuff, and I've had lots of work and stuff to do. Um, but in the meantime, I have been uh, working on coding, uh, slowly improving my Python knowledge. And uh, I've, I've started making this. It's an Adventure Time text adventure. I absolutely love Adventure Time. The this, this series thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, one of my favorite things. So I thought, um, why not uh, try and improve my Python knowledge and improve on that by uh, making an Adventure Time game. So uh, let's get into it. I'm going to choose oh, Finn. And we're going to start off. Uh, the whole reason why I started this really was um, I when to get started in Python and the first thing I thought of was um, what would really be cool if, if, is if I made a, a Pokemon battle so it worked so you could choose um, from maybe five Pokemon and then expand it later on and uh, you'd, you'd have certain attributes that Pokemon it'd have weakness it'd have uh, strengths it'd have certain moves you'd have PP for each move and um, you'd randomly be put up against a uh, contender an opponent? Opponent, that's the word. And uh, it would randomly choose their name, their type, so it would be like Hiker or Youngster, and then a random name from a list, and it would randomly choose their Pokemon. And uh, they'd have a random attack against against you, um, and then you'd unlock a sort of player versus player mode. But I started it, and I, my knowledge was so basic that it, it didn't really work very well. I had to keep debugging everything in it. Uh, it wasn't really working that great, to be honest. So I started this, and I started it off a lot better. It was a lot easier to do, and uh, so I started off thinking um, doing it as almost like a Dungeons and Dragons type type thing. I really, really love playing those sorts of games in the choose your own adventure books, where you you know you flick through the pages and it says if you choose this, turn to this page, and so I want to do that sort of thing, uh, make my own text adventure, and what better theme than Adventure Time? Uh, so you can pause if you need to if you've been reading it at the same time uh, there's sort of like a backstory b behind it as it, it, I'll summarize quickly you've, um, you've woken up and Jake's told you that it's snowing outside uh, it's not normally where you live you live on the verdant plains and so you're like whoa must be the ice king and think that a princess might be in danger but you've also got to stop the ice king and find out why he's doing this and so this is your first major choice that chooses um, one of two routes that you will take on the game uh, so which one do we want to do? Save the princess, find the ice king. Uh, let's flip a coin. Heads. Heads. Uh, princess, tails, ice king. Oh. Heads. You're just going to have to trust me on that. Uh, save the princess. Chapter 2. To the candy kingdom. Uh, another thing I was wondering about this is... Uh, if you guys would actually be interested in this sort of thing, I mean, I don't expect my sort of audience to be interested in text adventures. Uh, I know a lot of people watch me for Minecraft, but maybe he's like expanding different things. Maybe do a, a series on coding along alongside other things, because that'd be pretty easy to do. Just record my screen while I code. I can just voice over it afterwards. But um, yeah, each um, sort of area you go to will start with this sort of thing. So you're in an area. Uh, says like a really brief description tells you where you can go, tells you what is in those directions. Um, you have a list of things. I haven't actually got the help menu sorted out yet, but uh, it will tell you you can either type north, south, east or west to travel in those directions. Um, wh what is good to do on text adventure generally is to do the look command and it tells you a bit more information about what is around you. So here we have uh, mountains of gold and various weapons and piles of clothes. Uh, I'm not going to spoil this, but there is something. Uh, you can examine different things. So I'll just say, uh, I think examine, examine gold. Is that? Nope. Uh, let's try examine gold. Nice pile of gold we've got there, Jake. As far as gold piles go, I'd say ours is pretty great. Uh, but you can examine different things. It gives you a clue. Uh, uh, you can also use the take command, which is take and then, and then the thing um, that you want to put in. So. 
you can try and take stuff, but uh, I'm not gonna not gonna spoil anything. I know that it says that we've got to go save the princess. That's what I chose, and the princess's castle is to the west. Like it says, west is the candy forest leading to the princess Bubblegum's castle. So let's go west and go on there, and you'll go to a different location. Uh, one thing I was wondering is um, if people are interested in this sort of text adventure thing. Uh, is that I've sort of got these pauses in between everything, so it gives you a little bit of time to catch up and and read it. it sort of explains the story more. Um, I just wondered if you guys like that sort of thing. Um, well, if if not, I can take them out. Uh, if you'd rather they just came up all at once, then maybe had a little bit of pause afterwards, or you like the pause in between them. But um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean with the with the take thing here. So. If we look around, we're in the candy forest. It says there are large pink trees made of candy floss. Mm, walking through here always makes me hungry. It kind of gives you a hint of uh, what, you, what you might want to do. You can pick things up that might might come in handy later for something. Uh, so, large pink trees made of candy floss and is hungry. Maybe we'll uh, examine the tree. Finn, that candy floss looks so good. Yeah, it does. I wonder how it tastes. You know, that's really hinting for you to do something. So, uh, the command, you can put a couple of things in here. You can use um, take and tree or candy floss. So, I think take tree sounds funnier, but you just examined the tree. So, a take tree. Hey, Jake, give me a boost, will you? You climb on Jake's back and he stretches up into the canopy. Math! That's a long pause. You grab an armful of candy floss and stuff half in your bag. Mmm, this tastes so good. You want some, Jake? Uh, I don't know if dogs can eat candy floss. So it's that sort of thing. If you guys think it might be better if that all just came up at once and then you could read it after, if you kind of like it with the pauses, it's kind of hard to work out what sort of speed people would would read that at as well because I'm used to seeing those lines, so I probably read them faster than people might. But uh, yeah, if you go west again, you go to save the princess and it um, goes to the cutscene of uh, entering the princess's castle and this is another big turning point in the game. The first few chapters are quite short and they get longer and more expansive. Uh, at the moment I didn't actually show it but if you try to go north or uh, south or east or a direction that isn't taking you to your main location just to begin with in this first chapter uh, it will actually say that you, you can't go that way. Um, but I'm not going to uh, let you read all this, I'm actually going to close it down uh -huh. uh, so you can't see it, but if any of you would like to play this, then uh, I might consider making this into some sort of launchable file. Um, this is just the main thing. There's loads of different files. Let's see if I can find them. Yeah, there's all these different uh, files that I've got that sort of link in. So you have Finn, and that's the chapter that you're on, and the option that you've taken. There's uh, major options. The smaller options. Uh, will fit inside that, but there are big options that actually change how the whole game plays out with uh, different endings, actually. Uh, I think there's three three different endings, but... Um, so, for instance, if we go into here, uh, this is what it might look like. It will, it'll actually run in the, the command prompt uh, window. But um, So this is the sort of thing I was talking about. You're in the treehouse. West is here. What is there? So if I type in north... I don't think we should go that way right now. The press is coming in danger. Anyway... Uh, I'll try and bundle these together how it is. It's kind of kind of working <laughs> at the moment. Uh not not brilliantly, but um it does does work to some extent. So maybe I'll try and bundle them together. If anyone's interested in it, uh put it in the comments section and I will try and get that to have a little download link. Uh so if you like the video, leave it a like. If not, then you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh if you like this sort of different sort of video, if you'd like to see more sort of things and on just different stuff, I mean, if you don't want to see Minecraft, if you'd like to see different games, uh, coding, real life stuff, whatever you'd like to see, just uh, slap a comment in the bit below, and I'll try and get back to you about it.